Hey, what's going on guys? Travis Patel here. Thank you for joining me today. Just want to make a quick video to kind of show you guys the power of these new products that Earbubble just launched a few days ago in the color changing mugs. Now, you know, Gearbubble is great about expanding their product reach and all the options they offer us to give our, sell, uh, our customers. And these color changing mugs are going to be a hot item right now. I can tell they've been asked for a million times over the years. Anytime you can find a good one, you can have a really great seller, especially when you can niche down. Now that we can custom make them, it opens up a lot of doors. And I just want to show you a quick campaign here that we're going to try out. The first one we set up. Um, and we'll just see how it goes, you know, just kind of a first round. Um, maybe a few tweaks are going to need to be made, but hopefully we do very well with it. So here we are in Gear Bubble, and I just set up this campaign. I just put an old t-shirt design that I've used a million times, one of my first ones ever, for the pug niche, um, since that was one of the first niches we ever hit. So this is a Pug Mama coffee mug, a design. And as you can see here with the mug, it's just straight black when it's cold. You can see the little timer here. But then when you scroll over, this is what happens when it gets hot. So that image will pop up. And we put that same image on the back side as well. So right there is our sales page. Now with Gearbubble, we can integrate this with Shopify easily, or you can just send traffic straight to the sales page here. So I'm going to go ahead and just set up a campaign straight to this page, not worry about it on the store yet just so we can kind of test around and play with it, not take up too much of my time when I'm setting up this uh, case study. So first off, what I did is I went ahead and I used ScreenFlow, little Mac app here, it costs like 40, 50 bucks, to record my screen, capture my screen in a video of this happening. And as you can see, I made it bigger, so all they see is a little sales page here with the effect going down. So this will be our video ad that we use in on Facebook here and we'll pretty much just have that going it has a little like psychological effect here when it says available to May 3rd even though we'll probably run the ad past that um, you know just simple stuff going already did that one now just to make it easier like I said I'm gonna go ahead and send traffic just directly to the gear bubble page here so I don't have to worry about it kind of see those direct um, returns so I went ahead and I'm setting up an, a URL redirect so that if this product does well, if it's starting to sell in big, then the ad itself that I'm going to make, we can just use this straight URL and we can switch the um, where they land at any point. Right now, when they go to this URL, Pug Mama C Mug, then they're going to be sent to the Gear Bubble. Now, if this sells well and we integrate it on the Shopify store, we can change this redirect to be the actual Shopify link. So they're they start going to our Shopify store. And this is just to make sure that we don't have to add, create new ads or change up anything that might mess up our uh, optimization or whatnot. And then really in most cases, we would just integrate the mug right away on Shopify. Um, but this way, just kind of adding an extra step to show you guys what else you can do to kind of test. Oh, I don't think I actually created that. Pug Mama C mug. And then we're gonna grab the URL. All right, looks good. So we go Pug Mama C. Should take us to the gear level. Perfect. All right, so now it will be that will be the uh, the link we use in the actual advertisement. Let's go into our power editor here. We're going to go ahead and create a new video ad. And for this, we gotta go video because we wanna do that video ad that creates those custom audiences. Go video views, create new US women, 35 to 54, bug interest, and then mobile only. All right.
All right, we're gonna go ahead in the ad set section just so we can turn off our Instagram right away, get our targeting down, and see what happens there. Mobile only. No desktop, we'll optimize there. Video views, looks good. And uh, I'm not even gonna look at our design, our, our initial research, I'm just gonna See all the suggestions here. Comes like dogs or animals and stuff like that. Rescues are always a great way to go. Especially if they're breed specific. Facebook's done a really good job of giving you good suggestions as you're just kind of going through here. You can see all these are just pug related. I'm just going to go down the line and hit them all. I'll go back through when I'm done. And change them up. I can already tell, you know, it's been probably two, three years since I've done much pug stuff, but I can see that there's a ton of new pug interests here that we can target. I mean, all of these are things I've never seen before. And then it gets to, when you start getting in deep, it starts showing related things that you've used often, and there's our cow interests through all right so we'll go back through here where are we at right here at 2.9 million reach pretty good for a video view since we're probably going to be using this to generate traffic generate views it's going to create a custom audience that we can use to advertise to with a direct uh, promotion something like oh get five percent off get ten percent off this right now or whatnot um, so 2.9 million isn't too bad for an opening video view. We might dial in a little bit, take out something that's more spread out. Doug the Pug here has 4 million views or reach. So let's see who that is. That is actually a pug. Three-year-old pug living in Nashville, Tennessee. How hilarious. He is here in town. I'm going to have to reach out to these people. Just got me very interested. Okay, so Doug the Pug seems about good. Frank the Pug, Green Mountain, Pug Pugs. I know those peeps. Employees. <laughs> Pugs. That's a really large one, just broad. Nine million. We could probably pop that out and come back to it. it took out 1.5 million on our reach. That's good. Really want to be about, I'm thinking about, this is probably where I want to be, 1.5, maybe 1 mil. I think that's really, really broad. I'm popping out. Everything else looks pretty good. Puggle, puggles, pugs. That'll work. So we're going women, 35 to 54. We have our main broad pug interest that we can always reach out to. See, we just dropped down to 390,000. So if we pop that back in, 740,000. I think I'm going to leave that in actually for, since we dialed in and it's a much smaller group and this is a video view ad, really want to hit them hard on that. And this type of ad would probably do pretty well on Instagram as well. I might double up and try that. Um, daily budget. I'm just going to go ahead and start at $100 a day. Seems like a very, you know, lucrative type of product we have here. A little bit higher than usual, but let's give it a shot. Now we're going to create our ad where we'll create an actual video.
right, that. All right, I'm kind of thinking with custom audiences, I might want to put this on 19th, actually, just to kind of allow us to create custom audiences that people who visit without me having to set it up on Gearbubble. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And you can see just how easy this is, if I remember how to do this. Individual stores. There we go. New product. Here's our new product. Upload. View that sucker. Does that sometimes. Close. Looks good. Product is there, looks good. Let's make sure that it's on. Style, color changing mug, boom, hot, cold, perfect. This could be the image we use to uh, in the redirection. So just before things get started, let's go ahead and create those custom audiences. And we can change that redirect back as well. Look at these. Video captions automatically. This is all new. That's pretty cool. Manually review and add captions. Add review now. Huh. No captions needed. Slot now. Right, we want to make sure that's checked. That will create our video view audiences. All tracks, 19. Looks good, looks good. Longer videos for your Instagram. All right, so we may do this on Instagram as well. Looks pretty good. Make sure that link is there. Good, good. And then lastly, Adding all types of stuff here. We go website traffic. All right, so someone who views, and now we need to go to the sales page. Grab our product ID. collection All right. happens alright so we are choosing people who view this product oh look at that that's new too at least one time in 30 days look at that I gotta take a picture of that Views website on mobile desktop, include past traffic. This is all pretty cool stuff. 
So we're going to go at least one time in the past, let's say 90 days. I don't really care about 180. We'll change it up at the 180 point. Now we want to exclude people who have purchased this product. So we're going to look purchased, content IDs, same content ID. Six, six, five. Just double check that five zero six zero six 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 two four five. At least one time in the past ninety. Mama, color changing mug. Views no purchase. All right. So this is who the audience would be that we retarget to. Um, later on with the direct ad. Perfect. All right, let's make sure everything's looking good here. Looks good. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I will re upload that one. And we could go ahead and just create that direct retargeting audience uh, ad right now as well. Might as well just do that so that I can show you. Um, we'll go Pug Mama Direct JPEG. And this is just like any normal um, advertisement we'd have go on. All right, so we have to create a whole new campaign style since this will be a website conversion ad and we just created a video views ad. They can't go in the same um, campaign. Pug Mama color changing mug WCs. Okay, website conversions is going to be US. Oh, this will be video or no views. No purchase. Ninety days retargeting. Okay. Um, mug pick. For this one, we'll go back to the same thing, except we're going to choose, you know, we need a purchase event is what I'm going to choose. Now I like to choose typically a purchase event for the entire store. We do have some custom conversions set up, as you can see here, according to certain niches. But it kind of works better if you just kind of go on the entire purchase pixel. I'm going to go with the $10 budget here. Now our custom audience, we need to choose just what we created. Hopefully it's here, there we go, perfect. Views no purchase. Now there's no people yet, obviously, so it won't really expand to too many people, but that's as we spend more and more on our video ad, we'll be able to do that. And then we'll also take this exact same uh, setup, except we'll change our custom audiences to be those video view audiences as well that start to collect and create as you go. And they won't be available until after we upload those initial videos. But that's really where the money comes in. Just double checking everything here. Let's go to the ad level and change that. Oh, let's change our placement. Forgot that. Placement. Now we're going to create an image ad here. Hmm. We may want to do a fan page post. Because I like that 1200 by 1200 look. Uh, we'll do, just do 1200 by 628 actually. So let's go ahead and make that right now with the image we saved.
Now, I'm going to do a 1200 by 1200 set. We'll change, we'll make that a little different when we do it. We'll post this just kind of like a normal um, lead-in ad like we usually would on the page. This one we don't really need to. Pug mug. Now remember this, we're gonna use this as a retargeting ad, so I'm gonna go with something along the lines. Don't miss out on this. Maybe you can do like a coupon code just to kind of entice them to get back in since we're leading in with the video and this is the ad that will retarget to them. Don't miss out on this one. You know, we don't want to write it like it's the opening ad because like we usually do, this would be the opening ad and it would have that opening message. This time we have to kind of direct it towards that. Don't miss out on this one. Use the coupon code. Pug, uh, awesome. 5% off the order. Buy here. And we'll just... Click. Perfect. All right. All right. So we'll grab that timestamp. Need this number to submit in the Power Editor since we just posted it. All right, we'll go use existing. Now, probably won't show up here. Oh, perfect. And just in case if it doesn't show up there, you can use the post ID, that number I just grabbed at the end. This one right here. That is the post ID. So you can always just use that if you forgot your, or if it's not showing up. All right, don't miss on this. Use the coupon code Pug Awesomeness. Now we got to go create that coupon code. Let's do that real quick. We'll just select that one product. Only one per customer, unlimited amount. Looks good. Everything tracked there. Looks good, looks good, looks good. All right, so that's us. That is our ad. We're going to let this roll through. We've got $100 a day going on the video ad. We've got $10 a day going on the retargeting. And we'll adjust um, kind of as we go through, see how it does, and really just kind of do this exact same thing launching across many, many different uh, mug styles today since that is a new hot product on the market. So thanks, guys. Hopefully you guys got a lot from this. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. I'll definitely come back and, and show you guys the results that happen over the next you know couple days. So thanks guys, Travis Patel here. Have a good one.